So I'm going to grab the audio I want to use, which is, I grab it by the icon here, and I'm going to drag it over to audio one. And I get these white triangles. I'm going to bring it so it starts right at the beginning of my timeline. So see if you can bring that in at that point. What I want to do is sync up these pictures with what's being said. So we first thing we hear is Stinky saying. Everyone listen up. I run a tight ship. So everyone listen up. I run a tight ship. So my it kind of ends about there. And I could go in and fine tune that. Uh, down at the bottom here, we have this bar. And if I push this bar to the left, there's a little, there, if you look at the bar, there's a, a lighter gray, a darker gray, and a lighter gray. So I grab that lighter gray on the right-hand side and push it to the left. What it's doing is just making the timeline, it's magnifying the timeline. It's not moving anything on the timeline. It's just magnifying so I can see it in closer. So these frames you watch up here as I push in, it's at 8 seconds, 16 seconds, 24 seconds. As I push this in, it starts going 4 seconds, 2 seconds, and then I start to get into reading it as frames at some point. I would. So there we got the 3 seconds. It's, and then I can see the visual of my waveform. The light green is the character speaking. As it gets softer, then they're not speaking. So, so in between here is where Stinky finishes his line. And then Coach is ready to save his line. So I'm going to do that cut at that point. So <clears throat> two ways to do it, but I'm going to um, go with this tool here. It's called, uh, let's see, yeah. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. And the first way I'm going to show you, if I have most of the tool we're going to be using in Premiere and doing this is our selection tool. And the selection tool is this top arrow in this middle tool toolbar here. And I could take that, and when I get that little red bracket with the arrow pointing to the left, that's letting me know I can shrink that image up like that, which is good. But the other image, it left a gap. So traditionally, this is the way I would do it. Um, we could do that. But I'm going to hit a Command-Z to get it back to where it was. The other tool we could do to shrink both at the same time to bring this one and that one is this tool called the rolling edit tool. So if I take this and I drag that to the left, it dragged over the, it, it pushed the first one that was there, the, this clip here, it shrunk it down, but it also dragged this one over with it. So let's just see what we have here. So then I'll put a sock in it. And then Stinky starts laughing. So I have Coach say, I'll put a sock in it, Stinky. And then I'm going to bring this image here. Is Stinky laughing? Stock, shoe, ha ha. So I'm going to want to bring this down. So I'm going to still use my rolling edit tool. Grab it in the middle here between these two frames. You can see there's a line there. I could open this up a little bit just to see what I have. And I'm going to drag that. To there, and as I drag it, if you look on the blue uh, timeline indicator, the blue line, you see you get these white triangles, and that lets me know that I'm linking up with that timeline there. So let's see what we have. So. There's a couple of frames that's going to happen in here. First, he's laughing, and then LaRue reaches in, grabs a megaphone. We see him wind up with the megaphone as Stinky is still talking, and then he puts it on there, and then we're going to cut back to the picture of Stinky with the microphone sh shoved over his face. So I'm going to look at what these other images are. So I have Coach. So he, so maybe I'll have it like here, like show the laughing. So I get it. So I'll maybe from here, I'll leave that there. And then a coach is going to come in and grab it. And these are going to be pretty quick. So I show him grab it. So maybe I'll just do that. Um, over here in the upper left shows our time where we are in our 
in our movie. Right now, I'm at 8 seconds, 5 frames. All right. We're running at 30 frames per second. So as I move the timeline indicator to the left here, if I hold my shift key, it locks to that area where it joins, and that's the 805. And if I want it to be half a second, half it's running at 30 frames per second. So half of 30 frames is 15 seconds. So if I do this at 820, that would be a half a second. So I click on this, and I type in 15 plus 05 is 20. So 820, hit the return or enter key, and it pushes me up to there. So now I want to bring this and close it up, but I need to see the end of it. So I need to open up my timeline a little bit to see. And I'll do that rolling edit tool and drag that to here. And then he winds up. He winds up here, and then there's a shot of him bringing it on top of it there. So I want that to be quick. So I'm going to have him wind up, and we call this anticipation. He's set and ready. We get an idea. He's going to do something, and then when he pushes it on there, I want that to happen pretty quick. So I'm going to take it about 11.08. And, and we can adjust this as we look at it in real time. Right now, I'm guessing I'm going to go about here. So I take my rolling edit tool and drag that to here. And then I got need to open up my file. I, I lost everything for a second. I need to open this up. And I want this to happen really quick to about here. So I'll take the rolling edit tool and go to there. And then I have... And I could even uh, zoom in on, which isn't showing it here. So let me just kind of listen to this again. So Sarah, I want to cut to um, him here. So I could start in with uh, Stinky with it on his face. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I want to, the next I have two frames left. So the next one is going to be. So he says Sarah. Sarah. And then as you were saying, he drops his hand down and gestures like he's pointing towards Sarah. So I'm going to take this rolling edit tool and I'm going to go to here. And then I'm going to take the final rolling edit tool and bring that in to finish up here. So now all my pictures line up with my, the length of my soundtrack. So I have that. Um, I'll, I'll give it a listen. See what I have. So I have that. So what I can do is do a file save. Actually, it's working pretty good. 